Hi, Bobcats. This last video from chapter six is going to work three example problems of the ideal and combined gas laws. So this problem asks us to find the volume of exactly one mole of nitrogen gas at STP. Remember STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. So this means that our temperature is 273 Kelvin because we always do gas law problems in Kelvin, and our pressure is either one atmosphere or 760 torr, because those two are equivalent to one another. So let's see if we can look at our given, our unknown, and our equation. Well, it looks like we have one number for everything. We are given one amount of gas, which is one mole, we are given one temperature, which is 273 Kelvin, and we are given one pressure. I just expressed that one pressure in two equivalent units. Um, and the thing that we're asked to find is volume. So if we have one number for all of these things, it's looking like the ideal gas law. The parameters in the ideal gas law are pressure, volume, the amount of the gas, the ideal gas law constant, and temperature. Now it says find the volume. So that means volume will be our unknown. R we already know because that will be 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And this is going to lock the other parameters into particular units. Volume must be liters. Pressure must be atmospheres. So up here in the top, let's go ahead and write in that one atmosphere. We are not going to need the 760 torr because that's going to be the wrong units. Atmospheres are the units that we want. N is how much gas we have, and it should be expressed in moles. And so this will be one mole. And then T is our temperature, which is 273 Kelvin. So our ideal gas law says PV equals, whoops, I'm still not good at erasing, so I'm just going to write over that. PV equals NRT. And the thing that we're trying to find is volume. Well, right now, volume is multiplied by P. So to get volume by itself, I need to divide by P. And of course, if I do it to the left-hand side, I also have to do that to the right-hand side. So I now have an equation that says volume is equal to nRT over P. Now, if I was working this out in the classroom, when I substitute numbers in for each one of these values, I also will substitute their units in and demonstrate that all of the units cancel out. Writing here with a tablet, I've got a hard time writing that small, so I'm going to skip writing the units. But really, as you're working this out on your paper, you should probably write in the units on each of these things. Well, we know that we have one mole. That's our N. We know that R is 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres divided by moles in Kelvin. And then the temperature is 273 Kelvin, and pressure is one atmosphere. So if I go to run this in my calculator, whoopsie, it was in such a habit that I had room, so I went ahead and I wrote atmospheres down in the bottom. If I run all of this in my calculator, and if you trust me that all the units in the top cancel out with the atmospheres down below, leaving only one set of units, which is liters, because it's a volume, and then you don't have to prove that all out for yourself, but you could write in all of those units and see how everything except liters cancels. But anyway, running that through the calculator gives a volume of 22.4 liters. Does that number look familiar? Oh yeah, that was on the radiation sign because we said that at STP, a, a one mole of a gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. Now you've seen the equation from whence the 22.4 liters came.